Hello, my YouTubers, my subscribers. Yep, guess what? Born in October, and the best beer Samuel Adams makes is Oktoberfest, and I'm celebrating. I don't drink much anymore. I mean, did a life of drinking, but nothing bad anyway. Just enjoyed it. So anyway, celebrating because guess what? The motor is in and running, and I am so happy. I'm just telling you, I am ecstatic. Anyway, I was going to like do a little intro here, and then I'm going to show you the first crank up. And don't get me wrong, I did some test cranks first and stuff like that, got it going. But anyway, let's go back in my history a little bit. I want to show you some things. I'm going to swing you around. Sorry about the hand, but anyway. So this was the car I won the most shows with, and this was, well, I called it Bogus. And I called it Bogus because me and a good friend, Doug, took a 351 Cleveland Cobra Jet, built our own headers, put that motor in a 65 Mustang, did not cut any shop towers or anything at all. Shoehorned it in there, did it just like the fact you would have done oh that little thing smiling that's my daughter she was very very young back then so this is some of the car at tommy's uh shop on in north charleston we were getting it ready to paint and this is a 65 2 plus 2 that i totally stripped down and redid there's another picture of the stain this was at charlestown landing car show I put a um, Versailles top loader in this, so I had basically uh, could run the lower gear rear end and one, two, three, and fourth was overdrive. So it made it great for uh, on the interstate running. We took that car all the way to Cherokee, all the way up through Tennessee. We took it all the way to Atlanta. And I mean, we drove it. We didn't do no trailer. It. But anyway, here's some other ones. I bought this 70, Two Mach 1, sorry for the shadow, there's some more of the bogus, out of, I think it was up the other side of Spartanburg. And of course, I added the valve covers and the uh, oval breather. But anyway, we lowered the car. The car had some history on it, and it was kind of cool because we went up to the guy that had it. The car had been originally purchased by Bud Moore. And this guy had bought it through two or three people, but it was a low mileage Mach 1. And uh, I ended up loving the car, driving it, took it to a lot of shows. But anyway, let's swing back around to the Later. All right. Of course, y'all all know, y'all have seen all my videos on this, and I hope that you're all subscribing. I don't know how these people get up to 100,000 subscribers. They must send y'all money. Money for the uh, hitting the button, I don't know. I ain't got that kind of money. I'm barely, barely able to do what I'm doing. And uh, that's mainly the reason I put these cars together. And I uh, I sell them to somebody, make a little bit on them, but I enjoy and really love what I do with Mustangs and rat rods or whatever. I'm happy just building cars. This small garage here in South Carolina. I get it done, I work on trolling motors and everything else. I don't want to make this video too long, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm going to drink this cold Samuel Adams and I'm going to uh, do some editing on the video stuff. And oh, it's so good. Anyway, I want you to watch the video. This will be the first full crank up and run. Had a little issue with, couldn't figure some electric problems out. I didn't have, I had power to the coils, but I didn't have any fire to the coils. And wouldn't you know that putting the new air compressor on, or whatever, down that way, I had somehow barely unclipped the uh, crankshaft sensor. So guess what? Wasn't getting any fire. So, whole day of looking and trying to figure yesterday, or most of the day, but I got it. 
anyway. All right, so hang on. Here comes the uh, first crank up video. Right on with this one. All right, everything under the car is done. All the stainless exhaust manifold is bolted up correctly. The transmission drive shaft all in, done correctly, tightened correctly. All my wiring is done. All my hoses are hooked up. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. Hopefully, I won't have to do any more videos under this car because we are done, done, done. And I promise you, these things are done correctly. Right. Nothing, nothing, nothing half ass. Okay. Anyway, all righty. Mad Brad's custom. I'm going to say it all the time. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Okay, YouTubers. Don't forget, this is Mad Brad's Customs. It is all together. The exhaust leaks are fixed. So this is the first startup of officially totally fresh 4.6 2001 upgraded Cobra motor. Cobra crank from an 04. Brand new rods, SVT rods from an 04. Brand new pistons, 10 to 1. Everything done and done correctly. All new hoses, all new tank, tank, power steering. New radiator, three core. There's so much in this and I'm gonna give you a full description on it tomorrow. Next thing we're gonna do is get the front bumper put on, spoiler put on, and tires put on. Alright, hold on for the first full startup.